All right, so I'm back here and I just got done rinsing this uh, this little lawn battery back out. And this is the one I'm gonna do first. I just wanted you to actually see that I was putting battery acid in the same battery just to, you know, make certain that's exactly what was going on. But it says just uh, go ahead and fill it up and then pinch it off when it uh, gets to the full mark. So I'm kind of trying to see how that works out. And, Looks like we're coming up close here. And step up, got a little bit full there. Not too bad. And just move on to the next cell. Rinse this out, and I had the sulfation coming out of there, and it was like sandy, like uh, almost like rust chunks coming out. I'm gonna pinch this off and check it real quick. You can see that it's getting up, up close to the top there. And pinch it and kind of. Get to fill all the way. Okay, so we gotta be careful because uh, when you go to actually applying a charge to these, they will boil and bubble up and boil boil over. So you don't want to overfill them. Again, this is acid. You don't want to get them make a huge mess. And as you're filling these, you'll actually start to see them to smoke a little bit because it's starting to make that reaction you want. As soon as I get done with this one, I'm going to pause it and go ahead and move on to the other battery because I got it in its final rinse right now. I went ahead and rinse these both out uh, two times to make sure I got all that baking soda out of them and everything. But they, they did lose a lot of junk out of the inside and... This one I'm really, really confident in, and the other one I'm pretty confident. I just want to make sure that it's going to work and everything. So we almost got these full on this battery, and we're going to go ahead and immediately check the voltage afterwards. And if I remember correctly, this was a high 7, low 8. It was a 9 at the junkyard, but it dropped a little. So we got all these pretty well full now. Go ahead and we're going to pinch this back off. Pinch that, but hang on one second. Pinch that back off and sting it up. Stand it back up so that way it doesn't make a, make a mess. But now we're going to go ahead and grab the caps for this. And, Kind of get them put back on. And then I'm going to pause this and grab the other battery and fill it up real quick. So I will see you in just one second. Alright, so I'm back here. Uh, I actually rinsed this thing out like another five or six times because there was so much, so much stuff coming out of it. It was really filthy. So I think that uh, cleaning them more is probably going to be more beneficial getting this done but if you look down in there you can see everything you can see between the plates those chunky stuff between the plates it's a sulfation buildup that i'm talking about you see the wavy wavy lead plates in there but there's still some chunks in there actually i'm going to try and figure out how to get those out and we're going to actually fill this with new acid here so you can chunk you can see a chunk sitting right across the top right there some of it's damaged plates and whatever, but I mean, this is a used battery and everything. But we're going to go ahead and fill this up now. And uh, probably here down the road a little bit, actually empty this back out and see if this new acid is eating any of that stuff out of there. And then clean the acid or change the acid again since it's not really that expensive. But... Uh, I'm thinking that we're going to have pretty good luck here as well. Just have to make sure we get it all cleaned out and everything. And I mean, it's still really nasty. You'll see this come up here. It's going to look brown, but I mean, I could say you're going to clean this thing all day. And it's not really going to get clean, clean, clean like I'm wanting. But it, it is coming up and it is looking a little, a little brown. Oh, yeah, you can see it right there. Looking a little brown. You see stuff floating in it, that's it. All the stuff I've been knocking loose down in there, but it'll settle again and 
everything but we're gonna go ahead and fill this up the rest of the way and test the voltage on it and see if we got anything right off the bat and then we'll uh, go ahead and put a charger on it because it's definitely gonna need a charge but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I'll get back with you here when it's done all right so I'm back here I got the acid in this and rinse the battery and everything off and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick check on it and see where we're at I, uh, I think we were at the um, like a mid to high two on this when we checked it last time. And now I'm just going to go ahead and scratch this and make sure I got a really good connection here. I'll go ahead and move my meter up to where we can see it. And uh, sorry for bouncing around and everything. I'm trying to get this to where I can do it with one hand and it ain't working <laughs> trying to I have to get some clamps out here we got one touching over there see if we can keep it still all right so we were in high two now we're at a 3.38 over here and I'd say it's partially because I not touching all that great over there, but we already gained a little bit and we're going to go ahead and hook this to the charger and see what it takes for charge and I'll get back with you on that one. But that's with new acid in it and cleaned out and everything. And this one over here I already checked and we we're actually at a bit of a loss by comparison. And uh, we're at a 5.7. Again, I'm not getting able, really able to make good contact with one hand here, but... 518 on this battery so i mean it's a gain from what we had but it's a loss from what we had as well so we're in the middle somewhere but it's cleaned out the inside looks really good and we're gonna go ahead and charge both these batteries and get back with you and let you know how that went